local health officials say initially it appeared Omicron was spreading equally throughout L.A. County. But then they say the variant began impacting communities of color in even larger numbers. KTLA's Lauren Lister is live in South L.A. with more on a familiar issue. Lauren? Yeah, Cher and Pedro, these are disparities. We've seen at other points during the pandemic, but we've been speaking to locals, to officials, people at this health center behind me about why it's playing out with Omicron. South LA mom of two, Vicky Zapata, was infected with COVID during this latest Omicron wave, like thousands of others each day in LA County, including some we met at this testing site. It's Omicron, you know, it's highly contagious, but at least it's less severe. But despite the rapid and widespread of this variant, some lower income communities getting harder hit, similar to past waves of the pandemic. By the end of January, LA County public health officials said South and East Los Angeles, along with parts of the San Fernando Valley, have the highest coronavirus case rates in the county. Most of our patients are Latino uh, families, working families. Most of them are um, low income. Dr. Jose Perez is chief medical officer of the South Central Family Health Center, providing care to South LA communities. He says one reason behind the higher case rates. Multi-generational families. We have different uh, grandmas and parents and children living in, in crowded conditions. So if one of the members of the family uh, acquires the virus, it's very difficult to maintain social distancing. He also points to a high concentration of essential workers more exposed to the virus. Vicky Zapata says she's seen challenges with resources firsthand. I know my mom didn't have like a ride before to get vaccinated. While most of her family did get the COVID shot, she didn't think she needed it and says the virus hit her much harder than her mother and kids. They didn't really get it bad. I did. I, I haven't been vaccinated yet. She plans to get the vaccine now and promoting more to do the same is a focus for this doctor too. We got to keep educating our patient. We got to keep uh, being out there in the, in the media just explaining to people that this is really the safest way to get rid of the pandemic. And Dr. Perez says he has seen vaccine access dramatically improve in the communities that he serves with things like mobile clinics going right out into the communities. He says they've partnered with uh, LAUSD in addition, but he says that one issue they are seeing still is with misinformation. He says people come in, they've seen something on social media that's inaccurate. He says they understand the vaccine hesitancy, but they are working to set the facts straight. That's the latest live here in South LA. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.